Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Warner, concept designer with Fun Stampers Journey, and I want to welcome you to today's product spotlight video where I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble our matchbox die. Our matchbox die looks like this. It is one of our steel rule dies, and each of our steel rule dies has a label at the top which has the name and shows the pieces that are going to be die cut out. The sandwich for running these through our machines is you're going to place it between two cutting plates. So then you're going to put your cardstock on there and then you are going to run it just like this. The pieces that are going to come out are the actual box and then the band that goes around it. Wherever you see a scored line is where you're going to want to make your folds. And I like to use our crease tool to get an extra crisp, flat fold, which can be important when you're making boxes because you want to have your sides at a crisp 90 degree angle. Okay, so here we have our basic box and pretty much all you're going to do is fold your side down like this. So I like to run our craft glue. You can use your white liner tape, but these definitely want to pull apart. And I've noticed that the craft glue just seems to work better. All right, so when you're folding it down, make sure you squeeze with your finger and your thumb because you don't want to accidentally have it pulled out a little bit. So you want to make sure you're at a crisp angle. And then I like to clip it and glue the next. Okay, folding it down. Once again, squeeze in the sides to make sure you've got your angles nice and straight. Okay, so we're gonna set that part aside. Now this is the band. And there's just a couple of scored lines. And we have one adhesive tab. Now for this band, you can actually use the white liner tape. I've had no problem with that. And I like our double-sided white liner tape because it is strong. And you can also tear it and you don't need a pair of scissors. Okay, you can use your nail or you can also use our bloom tool to get that backing off. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to line this up and press together. And I like to use our crease tool once again to really crush those paper fibers into that adhesive. All right, these have dried enough and this is how it works. Just slides right in. Really cute. Lots of possibilities on this. So let me show you a couple of examples. Here is a little box that is just decorated with some washi tape and when you slide it open you can decorate the inside and have a little stamped image or maybe even a sentiment or something. So this is really cute. You can put a nice little gift, a little goodie in there. And here's something that's really fun. This one was turned into like a faux dresser. So basically you make three and you just stack them on top of each other and then just wrap it with some patterned paper or cardstock. And this is a really, really cute idea. This would be fun for like baby shower, something like that. And you have like little baby treats or something on the inside of each of these boxes. So I hope you found this video helpful and I've inspired you to use your matchbox die. Thanks for watching and now it's your turn to bring paper to life.